Welcome to the 2024 update video. I say that because we just recently did a live and in that live we were kind of discussing all our travel plans and then when we were done with the live we realized we kind of jumped all over the place and the spacecraft that we were building actually didn't finish when we thought it was going to which then pushed us behind so now we're finally in our new RV and it's been like four weeks and we are now deciding we better at least share with you what our travel stuff is going to be. So this is this video. Short, sweet, easy update on everything that's gonna happen in 2024. And maybe 2025 a little bit. Well, you he doesn't really mean everything. What he means is our events. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because no. I don't know everything that's gonna happen in <laughs> yeah, 2024. It's gonna be a lot. We have been in our new home for about a month and we're back to work and headed up to our first huddle and we're like, oh, we should probably tell people about the rest of the huddles <laughs> for the year. Get you all caught up in a nice, concise manner. Yes. Where you wanna what start? in the heck is a huddle even? Oh, that, I mean, there are several of you that are new to our channel and- Try 7,000 new people since the Tampa show. Yes, which is, <laughs> so welcome. So why do we even do huddles? Well. A huddle is just an opportunity for like-minded people to come together. We go explore an area, we do catering, we do a lot of meals together, we do adventures, we do a give back. Um, we just spend time getting to build those relationships because that's what's ultimately most important mm -hmm. to us is building connections out here on the road. So we do a huddle and we would and love to have you join us. We'll be in New York in July, upstate New York. Yes, which is beautiful. It's probably one of our favorite hikes that we've done. Absolutely. And then we'll have just three huddles this year. So we're headed to South Carolina. We're going to do New York in July. And then in October, we're going to do a huddle in Nevada. Yes. So you got a little swooping going on, Sheila likes to say, where we're going to be traveling around. In the midst of all of that, we have some stopovers that we're going to do, some other little nuggets there that if you're out and about and you can't make a huddle that you might be able to make one of these things um, to maybe meet up with us. Where are those yeah, at? So a meetup is just like a few hours. So like a, a huddle is four <laughs> nights together. A meetup is just a couple hours. So if you're not sure if we're like maybe too much for you yeah, for a whole weekend, you can come a out to a, a meetup. And we're gonna be doing a meetup at, in Pen Hershey, Pennsylvania, right around the uh, Hershey show so we will be at the hershey show there's a spoiler alert and then we're also going to be doing a meetup um working on the details that at the albuquerque balloon festival yes we have we're we're kind of like fish out of water on that one because we're not quite sure how it's all laid out so you guys have been kind of trying to figure out what to do and where yes that's a that's a new new hurdle <laughs> it is a new hurdle but sprinkled in throughout all of those things. So a meetup's just a few hours, a huddle is a few days. We also have opportunities for you to meet like-minded people called crew campouts. I love crew campouts. So last year, we kind of tested this. And what it is, is that if you're watching a video, congratulations, now you are part of Switch Crew. Doesn't really matter, it's just something that we name the community and by you watching and supporting by simply hitting like and thumbs up and commenting that's it that's all switch crew is but when we what we've learned is at the huddle so many relationships are formed we learn that out of a huddle people are like well where are you going and where are you going and then they want to camp together so crew campouts were born and we now have different leaders for crew campouts and we started last year with maybe like six or eight and this year we're already at over 20 and we were hoping for 50 maybe this year. We don't know. It's and, gonna be close. Yeah, and they're smaller. Like you, when you organize them with the groups, didn't you, they're usually, what, five to 10? Five to 10, some of them maybe 12 to, you know, max rigs. So we are talking, you know, 20 people-ish. So much smaller um, environment. And it's just a, a lot more kickback. Every crew campout is different. Um, the host might plan some different activities or the host might say, hey, let's just join up and do potlucks in the evening. Each one is different because it's led by our volunteers that come out of the Founders Which Club. Which means that we're not there yeah. at all the crew campouts. If it's along our, our travel path, 
we'll we stop. will stop in because we're going to stop in uh, on a couple this year, but super fun. We're actually going to host our own crew camp out in Missouri this year. Yeah, that will be fun. That'll be in September. So we're going to have a crew camp out uh, that we're hosting in September. And it also has a private dinner um, out at a winery for those of you that maybe will be in the area and just want to join us for dinner. So all of you that are veterans, Switch Crew, that you've been here, you kind of understand where to go and where to find it. But if they're watching and you're watching and you're like, okay, I will be in this part of the area, this country, this and that, where, Sheila, is the best way for them to get the notifications on crew campouts and to understand where they're at? Because our videos generally, we're out doing things, so we're not always touching base on this stuff. It's always just best to stay connected via going to our website at goswitchitup.com. Also sign up on that for the newsletter. Once a month newsletter comes out and always has the next upcoming events on it or when the event tickets are being released. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a fun new way that they so can that. stay connected, but we'll get to that because oh, yeah. I also oh, wanted to tell teaser. them about 2025. All right, 2025. If you if you kind of figure this out where the huddles are, where do we end up in our last huddle? Is in Nevada. On the West Coast. On the West Coast. So that should give you a clue that what 2025 is going to bring in, and that is starting off the year in January and that is dealing with the RV Revolution rally that we talked about. Yes, we're going to do our very first rally type of event in from January 14th through the 17th in the Tucson area. Yeah, which we have no idea what that's going to be like. We we don't it's going to be a lot more room. It's going to involve a lot of different things other than what we do at a huddle. So we're going to do something we haven't done before, and that is the rally style of event. So I'm looking forward to it because we're going to have probably some live entertainment coming in. We're going to do some workshop. We're going to do the rally side. A huddle is more like... Let's we've, go on an adventure. Yeah, we've taken people whitewater rafting. We've rented out boats and did a 70s disco night. We've done all kinds of stuff. A rally is going to be a little more laid back but it's going to be in a wide open area and we can have a ton of people there. Just total different event because different people like different types of events. Yes, I'm excited about it. But then right after that, we're going to do soup, something super fun. We can't give you all the details about that, but that'll also be in January out in the desert area. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be epic. epic. That is the word that I'm using, epic. It's, gonna, it's taking us the rest of this year to plan. That tells you how epic it's going to be. Yes, so if you're going to be uh, on the West Coast side in January, kind of hang out in Arizona, we have some great plans for that. However, also this year we also tested an event we're calling in an XP trip. Mm -hmm. It's an experience. It's kind of like those bucket list items, items. that you've always wanted to do. We tested it and went to Mexico with a group this year just to see what it would be like. It's nice to be in the RV and travel, but we all have a bucket list things and places we want to go. So we thought once a year, we would leave the RV and go on a bucket list experience called the Experience Trip or XP. XP. So in 2025, we are going to be jumping on a Norwegian cruise line together and taking a cruise to Alaska on their Encore ship. Yeah, super excited about that. And the reason we're even telling you about it now is that this gives you the opportunity that if this is a bucket list thing and you needed to save or make payments on it or do whatever, you have the opportunity. There are well over 100 people already signed up for the trip and they've only given us so many spots. So if this is something that you're interested in, please get the information and you have to make a decision very soon. I'm guessing you're gonna put the link down below for them, I could all do that. the things. They need to call Anthony, so you have yeah. to put Anthony's number there. Okay. Okay. We can do that. And then um, we also have three huddles that we're planning next year on top of that. So we've got just jam-packed activities and events because it's all centered around getting like-minded people together to create community and impact those communities around us. Yes, and this is the last thing that we're going to share with you because if you take all of that and how do you build community and what's super important is that is being able to build the relationships and message with each other and communicate and gather and do all that. 
So we launched something totally amazing, and that is the Switch It Up app. Absolutely. We're it is the way to keep all the things in the palm of your hand. So if you go to your Play Store or your Apple, or whatever, you have the app. And then on here, the cool part is, is once you register, you'll be able to see not, it doesn't give away your exact location, but it goes within a 30 mile radius. But as you can see, we've launched this and crew is all over the United States. And there's some huge things that are coming with the app. From that, you'll be able to just look and see, hey, is there a crew near me? Yeah. Maybe you want to get together that also has like they, you can list what activities you enjoy. So maybe you see somebody on the app that likes to go kayaking and you're in a great spot. Just reach out to them and you say, hey, mm -hmm. you guys can laugh about Todd and his crab Tree problems yeah. while you're kayaking. Somebody because just you have today that. or yesterday said, I watched that video. It may be, <laughs> that was yesterday, a new person. So absolutely. It's gonna but that's me. the point of the, the app is for you to find people that are like-minded, that in, enjoy just being together and you can reach out to them. Also on the app though is all the events. So it's right yeah. there in the palm of your hand. You can find out, okay, well, where's the next crew camp out? I want to connect. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a lot of development in the last, the next, well, I'd say next three to six months. Absolutely. We are, we have worked through a lot of kinks and a lot of bugs. We're ready for you now. There's two versions. One is free and the second is $5. And the reason it's $5 is we learned right away that there is data that has to be paid for. And we didn't want to go up to our eyeballs and have to run a ton of ads to help pay for things. And I don't like a ton of ads, and I'm sure you don't either. So after we found out what they, all the different percentages and stuff, $5 is where we landed, and that's on the paid side. So you can do the free side, or if you want to support us and have some of the other features that are there, that's all that is. It's not, it's not break the bank type stuff just to help pay for the data usage and you get some extra features. Yeah. There's some great things coming down the pipe, but most importantly, we just want to encourage you to come out regardless of what type of RV Absolutely. or trailer that you have. Maybe you're a tent camper or maybe you don't even have an RV and you want to rent a cabin. Just come out, hang with some of the greatest people that we have ever come into contact with and join the crew at one of our events. Yeah, build the relationships that you want to do because you hit the road and wanted to live the RV lifestyle. That's really what it's all about. Yeah. All that we've condensed down for you to get the nuggets without squirreling. I didn't even squirrel very much in this I know, video. I'm very proud of you I for that. I stayed on like, task. stayed on task. So that is the big plans for 2024, the beginning of 2025. And we can't wait to see you out on the road. We'll put the links down below. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.